Hello, Fallen Dragonite here again, and welcome back to my 12 reviews of Christmas. And today we are reviewing the Cybertron Megatron. So yeah, you can kind of consider this another part of the reign of Megatron. But, for now, we're just going to take a look at this very nice race car-esque mode. Kind of futuristic looking, has a nice... Big spoiler on the back. Fortunately, this is not exactly how it was in the show. The show had it kind of like that, but you can't really pose it that way. Instructions show it like this, so we're going to have to do it like this. Anyway, we got nice cockpit here. Some nice accents, which are looking kind of bluish on my camera, but they are purple. Nice rolling wheels and this is the only part I don't like is that these panels just hang back here they're supposed to be secured back here somehow but the instructions don't show it I had to look up scans because I got this uh, second hand but I'm also missing two little fins up here but they don't really matter for the review so yeah we have the firing missiles and the uh, turbines here. They do make sounds, do not have batteries in this right now. But it really, all it does is, it has a little firing noise when you fire off missiles. Even if you don't have missiles in there, just pressing down on the uh, release buttons will do this. And of course the engine noises are from the cyber key. You can probably tell this is not the cyber key that came with this. This is the cyber key that I got when I got this second hand. It's supposed to be a leader key, but I've never been able to find a replacement, so... Regardless, we're just going to see what the cyber key does. Just pops open those engines. It would make a little noise, and it's really hard to get that key back out, but... It'll make turbine noises if the batteries were in. It's basically all it really does, and... Because of how tight it fits, you can just put it in part way as a good place for storage. But it's really hard to get back out. Now then, he is sort of a triple changer too, because he also has a jet mode. How we do that is split the front, pop off the sides, like so. I'm going to put the cyber key off the side here. Gonna have to pop off this section and swing this hinge all the way. There is a slide here. I did not see this in the instructions, but the slide actually helps fit it in its different modes. So we're gonna take this peg and put it into one of the wheel spokes, like so. Gonna just adjust this. And we do the same to the other side we've got to rotate the wheel so that the hole and the peg line up make sure that slide that's slides all the way over and adjust that and there we have his jet mode and oh, that's not supposed to happen yet for a very simple transformation it actually pulls off the look quite nicely kind of looks like kibbly back here though but Again, transformation is quite nice, considering how little it had to do in order to achieve the effect. So, yeah. Now, let's get him into robot mode, which isn't going to take too much more trouble, but this front piece tends to get really stuck together. There we go. We're going to split that. We're going to flip these panels up. We're gonna unpeg these rear sections here. Fold the entire section like so. And we're gonna take these panels and fold them back like this. Take these sections and fold them out, fold this up part way, 
gonna straighten this up as we fold them up. Push this piece in like so. There is two core, uh, two tabs that go into two holes in the torso right here and right there, and we fold these in like so. For the arms, fold these down, fold these little panels out, fold this, slide down, and peg hole right there. Same with the other side. Like so. There's the arms. Now we gotta straighten up the legs. And we take these sections, we fold them in like so, and peg in the center of the wheel like so. Same with the other side. And now for these back sections, I like to fold them up like this. Put them like that. This isn't part of the instructions. I just like to do this personally, is just flip these panels up like so. Same with the other side. Like so. And again, this is just personal for me. I just like to flip that over. And uh, I'm really scared of those ankles, but let's move the camera up a little. Hang on, I'm readjusting my tripod here. Finally, we take these little fins and fold them out. And there we have Cybertron Megatron in his robot mode. And he is quite, quite nice looking, quite imposing. Fairly decently lo uh, looking to the uh, show as well. Of course, what is Megatron without his weapons? Because, again, we have two cyber key slots. First one right over here pops out this little panel. We, come on, you just pop this out like so, and I'll just close that back up. And we fold this out. He has a gun, which has a nice little Gatling effect when you spin the crank. I'll just put that in his hand like so. Other side. Now sometimes this pops off, sometimes it doesn't. We'll see if it pops off. It doesn't. Sometimes this pops off, sometimes it doesn't. This is this really spiked armor bit. So the instructions show you putting it in his hand, but it doesn't really mm, really work too well. It feels loose when you put it in. I find it better if you put it into the hole right here. So it's coming off his wrist. It's coming off his wrist so he can slash you with it. And of course, again, just pop the key in like so for storage. Now then, for articulation, oops, hang on. For articulation, we have swivel of the head and his transformation to weight making him look up. He can rotate his arm, ratchet in and out. Really deep knee bend due to the transformation, although it's not really needed. There is a waist joint, but it is hindered by that backpack of his where all the batteries are. He ratchets up and down, side to side is just a swivel. Knee is ratcheted. And there is tilt, but that snapping is just really making me worried. And there is a tilt to the ankle as well. 
they can get him in at least some decent poses. Fortunately, his head doesn't really rotate too much. But... He is at least decently poseable. I do have to say, I really do like the look of this Megatron. He is big and imposing and he's just really nice. I am worried about the ankles, but that's a personal preference of mine. And I really do like the gimmicks that they have for the weapons. I do wish there was a way to get that waist articulation to work, but eh, you take what you can get, especially at this size. Anyway, that is Cybertron Megatron, and I'll see you again next video. Bye!